image that I've seen in nature. Something that's caught my eye, a silhouette with the shape of a branch. And I photograph it, or I bring the idea back to the studio. And I do a line drawing on canvas. A very free hand, blind contour type drawing. I find inspiration everywhere. I live right on a creek, so all we have to do is open the window and um, there's so much to see and look at in the morning. My son and I go on lots of adventures and in the Bay Area we have a lot of natural areas that we can explore and um, learn about. I carry my camera with me and um, it's interesting to see what images show up, sometimes months later in a painting. I'm really interested in color. I think color carries a lot of emotion to it. It allows the viewer to see the work in a more visceral way. A lot of my work is really driven by trying to achieve a certain color or a certain color palette that I'm interested in. I started painting when I was really young, probably seven or eight years old. I think I took a class and I was painting with oil paints. So I really learned um, how to handle the materials at a young age. But you know, I'm still learning. It's, it's a very um, fluid medium. and um, I work intuitively. Um, in, in the work, I obscure a lot. Um, I conceal a lot of detail. And then I also take away a lot of paint. I wipe off more paint than I put on, probably. I think a lot of um, what I'm striving for is a sense of detail and a sense of um, discovery in the work. A lot of the detail in my work can only be seen up close. It's similar to how we engage in nature. Nature is a very layered experience, and we don't see the detail until we engage at a different level. I love that everyone sees something different in my work. They seem to see reflections of light, pattern, shadow, and all of that is very much part of the inspiration that goes into the work.